G'day everybody, my name's DJ and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. In today's episode, we are going bushwreck hunting way out in the middle of the outback. We're at a place right now called Giles Breakaway and it's absolutely stunning here. Now, a lot of people have been asking me when I go out to do my bushwreck hunting, can you get an idea of the vastness out here? Well, we have a new toy now that will give you just a perfect idea of how vast it is when you're out here in the outback. So with that little snippet, let's carry on our journey. What we're actually going to find, I believe, is an HG or an HT station wagon that is nearly complete. Not only does it have the engine, the transmission, the full interior, the clusters, it even still has every single pane of glass. Why? Because it has been left behind by an old Aboriginal fella who's since passed away, unfortunately. But his son and wife, uh, or widow, um, have preserved this car out in the bush but have never been in a position to actually bring it back into town and give it the love it deserves. So we're going to head out there today, we'll film a few cars along the way and on the way back but um, yeah our main goal is to find this HT wherever it's been abandoned, where they've left it for all these years and um, yeah luckily a lot of the locals and a lot of the um, travellers have left this car alone, it's apparently very well hidden so we'll go find it and yeah if there's enough of it left why not, let's see if we can get this thing started and running. Maybe not this episode, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I think today's episode, we'll pick a theme, we'll go with uh, wagons, shall we? And we'll start off with this XM Falcon. So, nice early model, a bit of chrome left, but unfortunately has been caught by the bushfires or our someone just lying on fire because, you know, there's nothing else to do when you're out in the outback. So, a bit of chrome work left on this one. We got the rear diff in there. Yep, that's still fairly complete. Some lovely uh, bog work there. Top standard, absolutely top standard. Oh, isn't that a cute little tow bar? What's that meant to tow? Not too sure on that one. But it's a CN. We're just missing, um, can we pick a vowel? Missing a few letters there. But yeah, the rust on this one's pretty bad. And I guess um, one of the road crew lives in uh, postcode 6019. Maddie there. Uh, shout out to you, whoever you are. But yeah, there's not too much left on this one. Uh, rear safari convertible roof on this one. And... Um, yeah, no dash. Everything's just gone, unfortunately, perished in the fire, so not too much to save on it, but um, this is the kind that you'll turn into a bit of yard art. A little bit of a tidy up, make everything a bit straight again, and it'll look good in the front yard of someone's place anyway. Just not mine, because I've got enough wrecks in my front yard already. So I've known of this car for a while. I'm actually really glad I can show you fellas now. This thing, when I last saw it anyway, was near complete. It even had a carburetor still on, yeah, which it does. And the same gecko's still living here by the looks of it. Look at the size of him. He's a good one. He gone. All the tags are here. Tags are here. This one I don't think will take very much to get going. There you go, everyone can decipher that if you're interested. Oh, I'd love that. Look at the horns, that'd be cool. There we go. Oh, twin horn. Yeah. That's you awesome. Note, there you go. Look, past there. I think it's just hit something hard there. Yeah. And then it's been pushed off into the dirt by some earth workers. And now it's just left here. But there's enough of it left here to, you know, you could rescue it and have a bit of fun in the bush with this thing. Ooh, been stowed up the rear end as well. That's not too pretty. But we've got um, disc rear end, solid axle, leaf springs. Heaps of room there in the back, obviously being a fair lane. 63, 81. 80, it should be... 81? 0681. 0681. There you go. Look at that. Cross flow engine. It's just a single car, eh? Yep. Oh, a twin no, someone's taking the rotor cap. Oh, okay. But yeah, there's a there's enough to have some fun. Even some good chrome work still on it. Except maybe that part, that's a bit dodgy. Climate control man this thing would be flashing this day that is a really good find and if i can find a previous owner of it i have heard rumors about who owns it we'll um we'll see if we can knock up a deal to get this one working again 
because I really don't think it'll take much. The block looks to be in good condition still. I say the that's going to need to be um, unearthed quite a fair bit. So a bit of digging required, but nothing too hard there on that one. That one's really really cool. All right, so we found something off in the bush here, around about the area we were told where it was. And it is a wag, and we can see, but um, if it's the right one or not, we're not too sure. So let's have a bit of bushfires through here. A while we go. No, that looks like an EJ. It's not the right one. It's not the right one? No. It looks fairly complete wherever it is. What is it? It's a 63. Ooh. And it's got the plate still on it. Check that one out, Graham. That's going to make you jealous for sure. Beautiful. Bit of damage on the roof there. Oh, the plates are still there. What you got? EJ. It is EJ? Yeah, EJ. Yeah, because it's got the 100 mile an hour dash. Man, that dash is actually in pretty good condition. Yeah, but this is not what we're looking for. This is not what we're looking for. But look at it. I know, it's in good nick. Let's get a picture from the back here. Oh, no way. This is, whoa, there's a big spider web. Don't walk through that. No, no. How um, can I get around there? There we go, that's what it looks like from the back. Still got its lenses on the back. Oops, is that the spider web again? The fuel cap's still in it. Fuel cap's, man. This thing is fairly complete. That's crazy. No, oh, man. I... Walk around this way. Hopefully, there's no spider webs this way. Yeah, the spin effect sucks. Ah, more spider webs. Now, this one's definitely savable, that's for sure. Complete. That's what I said, the back tail lights are good. Still got special badges, the entire, well almost the entire chrome strip down the side. Oh, look at that number plate, will you? The... DS. Is it DS? 503, DS 503. We even have the holding badge still on the nose of it. Can't get close without stepping in. Big blooming spider webs everywhere. No, not afraid of spiders. Um, just that spies out here can kill you. Oh, no, that one's shut. So, passenger stool? Passenger stool? Mm. Nah. Man, someone's hacked up the firewall. Oh, yeah. Look, we've been, what's that? Got the choke knob in there, wiper. Oh, oh half the dash wiper. It's beautiful. That dash is in really good condition. I mean, if I can open these doors. I got a guy who'll buy the scuff plates. Big spider web again. There we go, there's a picture of our tag. Yeah, EJ229. <laughs> oh man, someone's hacked that firewall part as well. Wiper motor. Man, look at the chrome around the window. It is a really good neck till you get to the top. And it's been crushed in somehow. But that is beautiful. Even the wipers are in good nick. Oh yeah. Look, we've still got the cross ply tires here. Someone's taking a room. You see, every door, the winder and the handle for every door is here. On this side we've got ignition barrels still there, what's this, what's lights. The mileage? mileage is 47,000, almost 48,000. I mean, just run in. Oh, still got the kick plates there. Oops. Yeah, I think the sheet metal's definitely seen better days. But yeah, the winders, steering wheel is, yeah. That, that is a really awesome find. So believe it or not, just in that, behind that tree there, there's another wagon. So, it's, um, it's definitely not the one we're after, as we're only just off the road. But um, it looked interesting, whatever it was. So we'll just have a squiz through here. I mean, the stuff I do to find a rusty old wrecks for you fellas. The spin effects is horrible stuff. There it is, see it over there? Maybe if I go like that. Can you see it now? Yeah, there we go. Oh, ow! 
blooming sticks, flies. I'll tell you, man, the outback is not a glorious place to live. Regardless of how many old relics and treasures you find. Anyway, here we go. Getting closer now. Don't cut my legs up on the spinifex. Keep moving. Here we go. We have... Oh, look at that. It's an EH station wagon. How cool. So, we found the EJ. And now we're going up a generation and we've found the EH. This one's uh, been flipped to be salvaged for quite a few parts. The... Um, Diff's gone, axle's gone, hubs are gone, dry shaft, gearbox, engine, all that's gone. And then unfortunately, it looks like it's been caught up in a bushfire. So, yeah, a bit of rust in it too, which warrants it to be un unrestorable. But there's a bit of chrome work on there, the side mouldings and what have you. If you uh, don't mind a bit of elbow grease to get them looking good again. But yeah, this one... Uh, not too bad, that's all it just mutilated the whole front end to pull that engine out. Oh, and the tags are still there. That's cool. Let's have a look. What have we got? She's all upside down, fellas, but there you go. That's really cool. So not much left on that to be salvaged. So that's a shame. Anyway. So we're working our way back towards uh, town and we're kind of lost um we the directions we were given to find this ht weren't the weren't the best um and dad has actually been and seen this vehicle but that was a few years ago so uh he can't quite remember exactly where it is but we know we're in the right area so we've been up and down the road a couple of times that's how we found the ej um just happened to see this uh sorry just get for the specifics just happened to see this uh the call of my eyes we drove past so that's kind of cool we've gone from ej into an EH. So let's get into the H series. Is it the HT that came first or is it the HG? Anyway, what we're looking for is in that generation. So hopefully, with our luck going in the right direction on the generations of the wagons, let's hope we find the right one next. All right, let's keep going. All right, here we go. Starting to get into the right generation now. This one has uh, definitely been seeing better days. It is very close to the road, so it's been pillaged for quite a few parts. Uh, tags are gone. But we are a HK on that serial number. So we're definitely in the right generation of what we're looking for. These are gonna be one of my favorite shape holdings. These and the HQs, they're awesome. Just got a really nice line over the back there. The way the bumpers wrap around and the, 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 I guess you call them a triangular sort of tail light there, how it kind of wraps around. I'm not sure how you describe it. It looks good anyway. I like the tail lights, there we go, I'll say that. So, you're winding the window down, it's pretty hot. No? <laughs> oh look, the radio facade still in it. So, column shift manual, I'm going to say on that one. We've got the three pedals. No hole in the tunnel there. It'll make a good body for a bush basher. There's enough of it there. That's what we want for the handles. Ah, uh, yeah, for our to front tow hook. Mm. What have we got lying in the ground here? That's the door. Another door the vinyl's in. Pretty good shape actually for the con like considering where it is and what have you. Straight six. Blocks to oh there we go. I think I found out why it stopped. There's a nice big nasty hole. What are we? 161. And there's a nice big hole on the side of the block there. Oh yeah. So yeah, I guess I started the roadside repairs and couldn't find another block. Get it right off. Oh yeah. Just the one though, eh? Yeah, just the one. That's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Rodney strikes again. Okay, now we need that, but in a wagon. And in much better condition. Hopefully down that way somewhere. Well, that is all for today. We have to now get back home before the sun sets and uh, get back to our respective families. So unfortunately we couldn't find the HT wagon we set out to find. Um, well, to be completely honest, the instructions we were given were pretty bad. It was pretty much, look for the long straight and that divot, yeah, you'll find it in that. So it was a bit of a hunch to go off and um, yeah, we just can't quite remember exactly where it's meant to be or, or where it is. But 
You win something, you lose something. We didn't find an HT, but we found an awesome fairlane. The EJ was absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, a couple of little good wagons in there as well, which, you know, they all have their uses to restore other vehicles that might need to get back on the road. So anyway, that's all for this bushwreck hunting. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.